All right, guys, we got this. Let's go gun wide trip speed. Control next go. On one, on one. Ready? All right. What's up guys, it's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and in today's video we're going to talk about understanding the importance of knowing if you're running your route combinations to the short side or the wide side of the field. Now the route combinations we're really going to talk about in this video are flood concepts or streak and corner route combinations that are super popular this year. And this is also going to help us on the defensive end of understanding why it's important to know if they're running this to the short or the wide side as well. Now, for those of you that don't know, when I talk about short or wide side of the field, uh, the easiest way to think about it is the wide side is gonna be where there's more space, right? So you see here, we're off to the left. We're on the left hash mark here. So there's gonna be more space to the right side of the field for the receivers to run. So that's gonna be the wide side of the field, okay? Now, obviously the left side then would be the short side of the field. If we would be on this right hash over here, it's just gonna be flipped, right? The right side now has less room, so that's our short side. And the left side now has more room, so that's gonna be our wide side, okay? So if we look at this um, route combination that we're gonna talk about here, it's just gonna be, like I said, a streak, a corner, a flat, something like that. You don't even need the flat route really for what we're talking about, but we'll just add that in there because uh, this is a popular route combination and it has been for years right especially from the bunch formation uh, and it's popular from tight as well this year and we'll talk about that a little bit as well uh, but what you'll see here is on the defensive end we're just in a base cover three right now when we're running a route combination like this like flood the goal of this outside receiver that's on the streak is to pull the outside corner deep right it's this streak's job to pull this outside corner deep, which will open up the corner route, okay? What you'll see is when we're running this to the wide side of the field, that's not going to happen, okay? The corner is going to be there and be able to make a play on the ball. Now, obviously our receiver did come down with it, but that's because we have two controllers here. We're not able to click on and make the play, but if you're playing against somebody, they're gonna click onto this corner and they're going to pick this ball off, at least get a knockout animation, okay? And what you'll see is our streak route here, 14, doesn't do a good job of pulling this outside corner. So now this outside corner can really focus on the corner route to Edelman here on this play. Okay, and he's right there to make a play, right? This is a bad read. This is something we wouldn't want to make as the offensive player. Okay, I'll show you again if we run it one more time. Uh, the same thing's going to happen when we're trying to run this route combination to the wide side of the field. Right, the defender's there, he's able to get a knockout. Again, if you're playing against somebody, they're gonna click onto this and they're gonna intercept the ball um, simply because uh, you're running this to the wide side, right? And a lot of people think that flood concepts do a good job against cover three, and they can, but knowing which side of the field you're running this to is a very important key part of that. Uh, and you can see here that two in a row now, this corner is right on this. And again, against a user, he's clicking on, he's gonna intercept that, and you're gonna throw a turnover there, okay? Now, what you'll see here is when we try to run this to the short side, it's going to be entirely different. Okay, so now we're going to do the same exact thing on offense, right? That flat, the corner, and the streak, and we're still in the same base cover three defense uh, that we were in on the last couple of plays. Okay, now when we run this, you'll see that we now have this area of the field that we can throw to because we're running this to the short side and there's nothing else that's changing. Okay, so this is why it's important understanding where you're running your route combinations is because now this outside corner here, right? His job uh, to the wide side was he was taking away that corner route, but to the short side now, this outside receiver is in his grid and that's something AntCap talks about a lot and has in the past is understanding there's grids to the field um, and based off where you're running specific route combinations, it's going to pull different defenders in different directions based off of that. Okay, and like you can see here, perfect example. Now this same exact streak route is pulling this corner away from our corner route, which now opens up this corner wide open on the sideline for a nice 20 to 25 yard gain. Okay, I'll run it again just to show you that it's very consistent when we're running a concept like this to the short side of the field. Okay, so you'll see here we say hike, and now we have this over and over again, simply because we are running this to the short side of the field, which now allows our streak to do his job of pulling the outside corner deep, which now opens up this void in the defense, which again, allows us to make this easy throw for 25 yards. Okay, now the same thing can be done out of 
a variety of different formations, right? Uh, one that you'll see a lot is uh, tight halfback slots weak. Uh, and with this, you don't even have to, uh, what you'll see here is we'll run the same exact route combination to each side, right? Now the right side is going to be a little bit different just because it's not as deep of a corner. So let's see if we can smart route that. Uh, you can see here, we have two corners and two uh, streak routes, right? One of the corner routes is gonna get open while the other one is not, okay? And it's gonna be simply because one is going to the short side and one is going to the wide side, okay? So if we run this, you'll see to the short side, we can throw this time and time again, and it's gonna be open, okay? Now, the reason why we like a flat route to uh, the side we're running this as well is just to get that underneath defender out of the way, right? So you see here, the outside corner is not anywhere close to our route, right? He's running deep with the streak because it's the short side of the field, but this underneath defender can lurk a little bit uh, if he doesn't have to come up and guard anything to the flat. So that's why when you're running these flood concepts, it's always nice to have a flat receiver uh, just to put this guy in conflict as well. But you can see we still have this void in the defense that we can make this throw um, time and time again. It's going to be a completed pass, right? Now, this is something that this isn't even one of the better corner routes in the game, right? Uh, that's not going to be one that really gets deeper down the field. Uh, this one is, but you can see when we're running this to the uh, wide side is he's not going to get open because the streak is not pulling our outside corner. Okay, now the corner does leave at the end, but that's after we've already thrown the ball. But before we throw the ball here, you can see that this corner route is right on top uh, or this corner is right on top of this corner route uh, and there's going to be no way that you can make this throw to the wide side of the field okay if we do the same exact thing but we flip it you'll see that we can again now throw it to the short side which would be edelman which is the guy who was not open before and we cannot throw the one to the right now okay so if we say hike you'll see that this is going to be open now because we're simply running this to the short side uh, versus the last play where we were trying to run it to the wide side Okay, so if we go to the replay real quick here, you can see that this same exact route that was just open uh, the play before is now going to be covered by this outside corner because he doesn't have to run deep with this guy on the streak because of where he's running the streak. However, on this side, the outside corner does have to stay over the top of the streak, right? You see here the two cornerbacks, right? One is right here at the 24 yard line because he has to be on top of this streak where the other one is squatted here at the 27 yard line because he can now play more aggressively on this corner or any outbreaking route because he knows that the safety is going to take care of this guy uh, on the streak okay this side is a different story which now again opens up this corner route wide open again easy 25 yard gain and this is simply because we're understanding that we're running this to the short side uh, versus the wide side of the field. Now on the defensive end, this is also super uh, important information to know because now you know you can't just run a stock cover three look or a cover three zone uh, to the short side if they are running a concept like this because your guy again is going to get pulled with the streak route and then it's going to leave that corner route wide open. So again, it's always important of understanding that um, when you're trying to learn something on offense, looking at it from a defensive perspective as well can be very helpful in understanding how you can make stops on these same route combinations that you're using uh, to really attack your opponent as well. If you've made it to the end of this video, odds are you're serious about becoming a better Madden player and we're here to help. On our website at huddle.gg, $9.95 a month unlocks all of our full game plans created by some of the best Madden players in the world. You'll also have access to our private Discord where Madden Pros will answer your questions and help take your game to the next level. Have a great day.